I wanted to share with God people the importance of teaching our children the way of the Lord, and guiding them according to the word of God, it was on the 9th of May this year, I was praying in the night, when the Spirit of the Lord seized me, and I heard the voice of the Lord that said, Prepare your children, prepare your children because of the coming days, for days are coming where children will go one way and parent will go the other way, my dear, likewise we are preparing ourselves for eternity, we must also prepare our children for everlasting life, we cannot prepare ourselves to meet the Lord and ignore the preparation of our children to eternity, I saw many parents going to the Lord, and leaving their children behind, and the Lord is sad for many parents are coming to him alone without their children. They pray alone without the children, they fast alone without the children, they don't create prayer time with children and they don't share the word with children at home, my brother and sister, let's prepare our children like a father and mother that are going on a journey to a far away country, and prepare his children to take over for he will not be there with them. Put yourself in the place of a father or mother that is about to go on a journey to far away land. Which instruction will you give to your children if you were going to a faraway land, knowing that you may never see them? Which instruction are you gonna leave your children as you are going on a journey to a faraway country? You will surely instruct your children to watch and to be prudent. Today the Lord want to warn you parent to prepare your children for eternity, because days are coming that will be evil, where many children will rebel themselves against their parent. The word of God instruct us to educate and train up children in the way they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it, Joshua said, me and my family will serve the Lord, he meant not just his wife but also his children, let's prepare the children for eternity, for if we fail to invest knowledge of God in our children we will be held accountable and we will be judged, if your child fall into hellfire, it's in your head, the Lord would ask you for his blood and you are not entering the kingdom of heaven if you fail to teach your children the word, in January 2020 I had a vision from the Lord, the Lord was speaking to me in those days telling me, prepare yourself, he kept repeating prepare yourself, back then the Lord was working in me addressing issue in my walk with him, especially about holiness and outward adornment, for he is asking us to offer our body as living sacrifice, even your adornment must testify the Lord. There must be a difference between Jezebel and Esther, there must be a difference between Naomi and Della, when the Lord kept saying prepare yourself I will come to get you, I could not understand what he meant, I heard people saying God took me in the spirit but I did not believe or understood it, when the Lord said he was coming I thought this was my own imagination, I did not believe, one day in the night I was about to sleep, since I am a married woman. I dressed sexy to please my husband like married women do, but the Lord rebuked me, telling me I am coming to get you, you cannot be dressed like this, I said these words, are my own imagination, later I decided to cover myself maybe these are words from God, one night as I slept with transparent clothes, it was hot on that day, but as soon as I slept, I saw that I was flying in the air, I was holding somebody that I could not identify, I saw the cloud and the space, when I looked down I saw the earth, since I am afraid of the height I told the angel of God please get me down, my brother and sister the angel of the Lord was so tender and sweet, I had not seen this tenderness of angels in the world of men, oh my beloved brother it's really heavenly, and has nothing to do with our world, the tenderness and amazing love that flow when you stand before the throne of God, will pierce and penetrate your being and heart, and it overwhelmed you, when I wanted to get down the angel did not debate me. The moment I complained he began to bring me down, I held him strongly for I have fear of height, once we left the cloud above us and once we were beneath the cloud, there was a strong wind like a whirlwind that was striking the earth, I felt like I was gonna be swept away, I was so scared that I screamed to the angel of the Lord please get me up. The angel of the Lord was long, I did not know where I held him whether it was on the hip or the hand, I just felt that he was so long and when I screamed he took me up again, I asked him what was that wind that was about to swipe me away. The angel said the wind that you felt is the wind that is blowing all over your world, back then the coronavirus was concentrated in China, as we continued to climb to the sky I closed my eyes, and when I opened my eyes I saw that we landed in a world that was unknown, 
We were like before many warehouses, I was walking in this place with the angel of the Lord, it was as if he had told me to follow him without saying it, I knew in my heart what he wanted me to do, I knew that what he wanted was me to follow him, after we had walked for some time we entered a building that was not different from warehouse that is here on the earth, it was like Costco and Sam Club where they sell items in grows, I saw people busy moving in this place, there was even a restaurant on the corner where people could eat. The angel and I went to sit on two chair in that restaurant, as we sat face to face he told me, look around you, when I look I saw nothing around, I told him I have not seen anything, he told me look again and look carefully, when I look again beloved I saw demons and they were monsters, they were coming and going and carrying stuff, there was many electronic devices in this place. I saw that these monsters had the feature and aspect of cartoon characters that our children watch, beloved all these cartoon that our children watch they are monsters, I saw these monsters in this place where the angel took me, they were moving around they seemed to be very busy carrying stuff here and there, I saw all kind of electronic devices here. The angel of the Lord told me, as you can see they are busy and these demon don't sleep and they don't rest like people on the land. They are working all the time coming and going, and all these electronic instrument and devices are things and gadget that they send to your world, therefore whenever you buy an electronic device beloved pray for whatever you buy and pray for what you bring home, pray for the clothes, pray for the sofa, pray for the TV. The angel told me these monsters design all these electronic gadget that they send to earth, they don't need them for they design them for human, and they send everything to create to your world. Beloved, all the monsters that you see in animated cartoon are representation of these demons, for the angel of the Lord told me. The inspiration of monster that you see in cartoon come from this world of demon, my dear let us be careful with these cartoon that our children watch, these monsters in cartoon are not just animated monsters they are really demon, and when children watch them they are bewitch and they receive demon, these wicked spirit portray as cartoon character bewitch and affect children. In another testimony, the Lord revealed to me that the TV set that we bring home is a doorway, that connect us to the world of demon, and this is how demon enter our children, be careful with movie and shows you watch in TV, do not let children watch just any cartoon for many of them are inspiration of the satanic world, this is in order to destroy children, turn children violent and rebellious, they will not like God and they will reject the things of God. When the angel of the Lord had finished talking to me about these monsters, I stood up turn around to watch them, it was then these demon noticed our presence, and they said to us, you there, what have you come to do here, how did you enter here, and who let you in this place in order to sit freely here, these monsters wonder how they did not perceive us when we had enter, immediately I heard a bell ringing in this facility, just the way the bell ring when there is fire. They were actually trying to alert that there was a security breach, and that unwanted people have entered their secure facility, as a result this bell I saw more demons arriving and they were running towards us in order to capture us. The angel told me follow me, before I knew it he had already gone and I was there and demon were trying to capture me, I said the angel has gone and has left me here, somehow I managed to swing among them and I escape from them, when I was out of their reach. I heard these monsters saying these angels continued to bring human in our facility to expose us, we are declaring war against the angels of God and against human, finally the angel transported me to another world, I saw a bother between the world of Satan in the second heaven and the kingdom of heaven in higher heaven, where the angel led me to see my heavenly mansion, my dear I had the privilege of entering my mansion in order to visit. When we enter they were all kind of furniture in my house, I visited the bedroom where I saw a desk full of jewelry and gold for me, I wonder, the angel told me take what you can take for I have to return you to your world, I said to the angel, I no longer wear jewelry and these adornment, I learned that jewelry and adornment that the Lord accept are his own jewelry and his own gold, that differ from jewelry and adornment of the world that are the property of the devil for jewelry and adornment of the earth belong to the enemy, in the spirit the bride of Christ is adorned with jewelry and gold that the Lord has given to her, which is a representation of his glory, 
This adornment of the Bride of Christ is opposite to the adornment of the woman we see in the book of Revelation, it is different from the adornment of the world, I said to the angel why are you returning me now? He said you have to go back because war has been declared. The angel was aware that war was declared, the pandemic that had hit the world was a war of demon against the world of men, this war is happening in the spiritual world, my dear, the Lord is sad. When parents take time to seek the face of the Lord they do not associate their children, moreover they are failing to check what the children are watching and they don't check their talk, we must give our children the knowledge of God so that when they grow up no one will steal that inheritance.